true, the cost of living is really unbearable, and we can only say that Kenyans to this far have lived by grace of God. I think what he intended to, to, to categorize is to speak of uh, debt management, mm -hmm. which has skyrocketed because of the infrastructure that we see. Mm -hmm. While we appreciate them, then the country has borrowed just too much. And mm -hmm. I've just seen in our new studying order in parliament, mm -hmm. we will now have a select committee which will be dealing with debt management because the country has been having limit constitutionally, mm -hmm. but you find the current government time and again has broken the ceiling and it has continued to, to borrow. In terms of agriculture, mm -hmm. I think if we manage the agriculture sector Mm -hmm. Like the way you speak of Mira, you know, many countries, bad Mira, mm -hmm. this was an income to the Meru community. It is not supposed to be viewed as a Meru commodity because when Meru county or Meru community mm -hmm. have money circulating, the money trickle down even to other counties. So if he is able to reduce the cost of fertilizer, for example, that is also a, an effective way of reducing cost uh, of living because uh, food production mm -hmm. will be more. Mm -hmm. I have worked in parliament of uh, Arusha as a regional member, mm -hmm. and I can tell you for a fact, for the last few years or several years, we've been experiencing one-way trade. This means when you go to Namaga Boda, mm -hmm. all the vehicles are coming from Tanzania to bring food stuff, mm -hmm. onions, carrots, maize. These are things that you can grow. If you go to Busia Boda, you find eggs are coming from Uganda, mm -hmm. while literally here in Kiambu we do very well in eggs. Why? The cost of production of an egg is very expensive. Mm -hmm. The cost of onion, the cost of carrot from Tanzania is very very high. So if we manage as UDA government, the agriculture sector, and if he's sworn in tomorrow and try with all ways and means to reduce the cost of fertilizer, cost of uh, feed for animals and things like that, we will be able to produce food more cheaply. When we have food here in our country mm -hmm. and we are not buying onions from Tanzania, definitely it is cheap. Mm -hmm. So if one kg of onion was going for 100 shillings and we grow it locally, maybe it may be 50 shillings that will tremendously automatically reduce the cost of living.